We need this shot spotter. Tina Hammond lives in Inglewood and has the shot spotter gunfire detection system on her block. I'm not going to say it makes me feel 100% safe, but just knowing that there are other things besides me or my neighbor calling 911, I just think that's very important. She joined a news conference alongside some alders outside a senior living community, denouncing Mayor Brandon Johnson's decision to end Chicago's contract with the company behind ShotSpotter. Chicago has spent nearly $50 million on the technology since 2018. At this senior building, I would constantly get calls about shootings. When they implemented ShotSpotter, those calls went down. Mayor Johnson is fulfilling a campaign promise by ending the city's use of the controversial system. Critics say shot spotter leads to over-policing of marginalized communities. What an odd thing to say. This is indeed a win for the city. We want to plan uh, neighborhood by neighborhood uh, with all our institutions, including the Chicago Police Department, on um, best practices to make sure that our communities are safer and are stronger together. The city saying in a statement moving forward, the city of Chicago will deploy its resources on the most effective strategies and tactics proven to accelerate the current downward trend in violent crime. Police Superintendent Larry Snelling has said previously, shot spotter saves lives, allowing officers to get to scenes before anyone calls 911. Shot spotter's proponents calling on the mayor to reconsider his decision before police stop using the system September 22nd, about a month after the Democratic National Convention. You want to wait until all the dignitaries come from around the country and then cancel ShotSpotter the month after they leave? What about the people that are here every single day? That should be your focus. The only people against ShotSpotter are the organizers, the community organizers who want to use the money that saves black and brown lives into their own pockets.